In this video, we will learn how to find out the correlation coefficient from the given regression lines. The question is, if two regression lines are minus 5x plus 6y is equal to 90 and 15x minus 8y is equal to 130, then the value of correlation coefficient will be options are being given. We need to find out the correct option. Okay. So by correlation uh, coefficient, what exactly it is mean? It means it shows us the strength of the linear relationship between the two variables. Okay, that is being shown by the correlation coefficient. And how do we solve this question? Let us say this is equation first, and let us say this is equation second. Okay, first thing is we need to find out the regression coefficient. Okay, so first step will be to find out the regression coefficient. Regression coefficient. Okay, so by regression coefficient, what we mean? Uh, the regression uh, coefficient is, in fact, it is a statistical measure that is used to measure the functional relationship between the variables between dependent and the independent variables okay so first thing is we need to find out the regression coefficient is that is that is we need to find out b subscript xy and b subscript yx okay so b subscript xy is actually what we call this is the regression coefficient of x on y and this shows the regression coefficient of y on x <coughs> okay i will explain how to find out that there is stuff first we should know what are the properties of the regression coefficient okay so first property we must consider is that both the regression coefficients must be of same sign okay so b x y and b y x they must be of same sign okay same sign then i will explain how to solve don't worry second property is if one regression coefficient is greater than one another should be less than one okay so second property will be if one regression coefficient is you know let us say less than one other should be other uh, rc should be regression coefficient should be greater than one okay if one is greater than one other another must be less than one next uh, important property is that is the geometric mean of the two regression coefficients is equal to the correlation coefficient that is third property will be the geometric mean of two regression coefficients let's denote rc as regression coefficients is equal to the correlation coefficient and let's denote it by r okay so given these two equations how do we find out b x y and b y x let's assume keeping these properties in mind we should find out bxy and byx okay let us take equation first in consideration let us assume this equation is and let's say it is b y x that is this is the regression coefficient that is uh, y on x okay this is y on x that means y will be the dependent variable and x will be the independent variable let's rewrite it then we need to solve this equation for y okay so let us say we have 6y is equal to 90 transposing this minus 5x it will become plus 5x here okay and dividing both sides by 6 so we will get y will be equal to 90 upon 6 plus 5 upon 6 times x okay so this is the equation of 
y on x and then what is the uh, you know b y x b y x is in fact the slope of this equation and slope will be equal to phi u upon 6 here okay so we have phi u upon 6 so b y x is this very term the coefficient of x is our b y x which is our regression coefficient in this case let's take equation second if the first equation is y on x we need to take the second equation as x on y that is b x y which implies it is on what we call x on y meaning x is dependent variable and y is independent variable that means we need to solve the second equation for x okay so we have 15 x is equal to transposing this minus 5y to rhs it will become positive uh, 8xy dividing both sides by 15 so we will get x will be equal to 130 uh, upon 15 obviously plus 8 upon 15y so what will be our uh, uh, another regression coefficient is that is bxy will be equal to the slope rather uh, we can say this coefficient of y coefficient of independent variable which is 8 upon 15 8 upon 15 okay let's come to the properties so first thing is both b x y that is both the regression coefficient should be of positive sorry of same sign here you can see uh, this is positive number and this is also positive number so this property holds another property as i have told you if one regression coefficient is less than one another should be greater than one okay um, by this uh, it is not necessary here they should be of the same sign if one is less than one another should be greater than one but we don't require it here so let us uh, to make it more what we call to make sense here let us assume we take the first equation is bxy that is uh, here we can uh, solve for the regression coefficient and we know that uh, the geometric mean of the two regression coefficients is equal to the correlation coefficient that is r is equal to the geometric mean of uh, bxy times b y x okay so r is equal to so we have two terms so we have the power one upon two here so b x y or we can write it like this also that is b x y times b y x so our r will be equal to under root of b y x is 5 upon 6 into b x y is so let's first write b x y b x y is 8 upon 15 8 upon 15 times b y x is 5 upon 6 r will be equal to so we have uh, 2 3s are 6 2 4s are 8 5 1s are 5 5 3s are 15 so we get here 4 upon 9 uh, which is equal to correlation coefficient will be equal to which is equal to 2 uh, 2 upon 3 whole square so square and root gets cancelled so we are left with 2 upon 3 2 upon 3 should be the answer of the given question so why I left this very assumption here if at times okay if at times our uh, one regression coefficient comes out to be less than one then another should be greater than one why because there is a limit to the correlation coefficient that is correlation coefficient lies between plus one and minus one and let me explain this second property here if this question allows us 
So let us assume in this equation, okay, to make it sense what exactly is meant by uh, this very the second property. So let us assume we have first assumed byx. Let us assume the equation first is uh, b if it is uh, y on x. Let us um, suppose it is on x on y. That means we need to solve the given equation uh, for x. So we have 5x is equal to 90 minus 6y dividing both sides by 5. So we will get x is equal to 90 minus 6 upon 5, 6 upon 5, y. So here we have also 5. So in this case, you can see, you can see b, y, x comes out to be minus 6 upon 5. Okay. If the second equation in this uh, question, so this is b, x, y. Now, let us take the second equation is b y x that is y on x so what will happen here let me see if i have the battery left yes i have and let me see if i can write it here so let us take the second is second equation this time is b y x that means we need to solve the second equation for y so we have 8 y 8y will be equal to uh, 15 uh, 15x or let's write it like this 130 130 plus um, so if I transpose this here so what will happen here let me see so we will get minus 130 plus am i doing some uh, mistake here so transposing this here so it will come here so we have minus 130 plus 15 x okay dividing both sides by 8 here also by 8 here also by 8 that gives us b y x is equal to uh, b y x will be equal to 15 upon 8 15 upon 8 here you can see we get we got here 15 upon 8 which is greater than 1 okay and we got b x y which is less than 1 so this property holds but if we do it like this way then the first property does not hold okay the thing that i was trying to make clear by the second property if at times we get b uh, both the regression coefficients of the same sign and if at that point of time one regression coefficient came out to be uh, greater than one other should be less than one that can be a possible question but in this case it is not uh, uh, you know happening so I have assumed it here uh, to explain the second property. I have taken the first equation is x on y and the second equation is y on x. So bxy came out to be minus 6 upon 5 which is less than 1. But byx came out to be 15 upon 8 which is greater than 1. So second property is holding here but first property is not holding here that is both the regression coefficients should have been of the same sign okay so i will take uh, you know another question in some new video to explain this very property where we have the two regression lines where all the three properties hold okay so this thing which i uh, you know okay i should not have you know wiper this out so this uh, these two scenarios i take to explain why we cannot take uh, b y x in the second equation and b x y in the first equation then these three properties would not would not have hold okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you